All right, welcome back to LearnWire. Today we're going to be looking at Launch Cart. It is on AppSumo and it is a Shopify Big Commerce or WooCommerce alternative. This would be great if you have a YouTube channel and you want to sell your own merch uh, to your audience. Um, this also is great for just a classic e-commerce website and um, also for content creators. There's integrations with Zapier, MailChimp, and so forth. We'll go and take a look. It looks like they have an AI uh, features with AI, and they are able to link your custom domain using CNAME and so forth. So you can actually have a custom domain and do all that setup as well. I'm not going to spend too much time on the intro today because the, uh, we're looking at a piece of software that just launched, and there's no reviews or anything like that. So what I want to do is just go look at the plans right away. So you're going to get lifetime access to launch cart um, and so forth. Unlimited products, 0% platform fee, customized transaction emails, coupon codes, automatic sales, custom domain, and free SSL certificates. Um, so that means that if you set up an account and set up a domain, hook your domain to it, then they're going to, they're going to go ahead and set up the free SSL. I really, really like that because like with my hosting, I use SiteGround and I'm easily able to click a button and every single domain that I set up uh, within 20 seconds, I have my SSL ready to go. So I really, really like that. Um, export your data, uh, inventory tracking, customized look and uh, feel. Um, reviews management and customized review widget. That's cool. Review, uh, remove powered by launch cart on footer, checkout editor, Stripe, PayPal. And then on tier two and three, they have more options for payments, but uh, the first option is uh, Stripe and PayPal. The classic, uh, I'd like to see more than that. I'd like to see almost everyone have at least one more option for people um, because Stripe and PayPal, um, people have issues with both those uh, companies. Um, and a lot of times they do nothing wrong and they get either their PayPal account shut down, Stripe account shut down and so forth. Uh, so I'd like to see more options there. Um, except international currencies. That's great. So we have license tier one is $39. Uh, you get one store, um, five drag and drop pages per site. I'm not really quite sure what that means, but that's going to probably be like your funnel. So you're going to have, um, depending on how many products you set up, you're going to have probably um, multiple pages that could be uh, product pages. But I think that this is, this means more about your funnel. You can actually uh, do upsells and um, order bumps and so forth. So uh, it's more, I think this more has to do with like the funnel because they actually have kind of funnel integration as well, where you can actually build uh, marketing funnels inside of here as well. Uh, three automatic flows per site. So again, this whole thing right here is kind of about the checkout process and uh, a marketing funnel. Um, two staff accounts. So that uh, I don't. I think that your your account is going to count, and you're going to be able to have one admin and fifty dollar design marketplace credits. So it looks like they have their own marketplace and so forth. So I think that if you're really going to be going for this, I mean, license tier two might be a, a good um, addition. Um, launch Academy access. So obviously you're going to add more stores each time you go up in price. It looks like they do have a tier five for $699, a hundred stores, so forth. But really, I mean, if you're going to start a business, right. And with an, a successful e-commerce, the, the reason why you would need multiple stores is, is, for example, take my, my, uh, online presence. I have multiple YouTube channels. Um, I have, uh, more than, uh, one YouTube channel that has over 10,000 subscribers which means that I could potentially need two stores or more, right? To maybe build, um, like, let's say you guys wanted to buy LearnWire t-shirts and hats and coffee mugs and stuff like that, then you would want to launch one store for your brand, right? Well, if you have multiple brand, uh, brands or you want to do this as an agency, um, then you're going to need to go up in those different license tiers, okay? Uh, but I definitely think if you're just solopreneur, you only have one brand right now, you can't even think about that next uh, step or next level of managing another store, then definitely this is a great um, software that I would recommend license tier one is going to, is going to get you by. It's going to get the job done for you. And um, so um, to give you an idea of the deal on this before jumping in, I've already uh, kind of looked at the software. It is fully developed software, really, really high level. It seems like it's been around a while and it seems to have um, that care and that touch that you would look for in one of these softwares. Um, and if you go to their um, homepage and watch the founders, um, video about the product, then you'll kind of just uh, get a good feeling that he really cares about the software. Um, but just to give you an idea, Shopify is like 30 bucks a month 
um, just $30, literally $30 a month, right? And so that's $30 a month on their lowest plan times 12. And so you're going to be at $360 a year and that's for one website, right? And so if you came in here and just got licensed tier one, you're literally paying one month, just a one month uh, subscription to Shopify and you're going to never have to pay again if you pick up um, launch cart. So overall, if this if this can build you a site like Shopify and so forth, if you're doing print on demand, if you want to, because uh, you're going to look at we're going to go and take a look at the products and so forth. It's really, really good stuff. Um, this is a, a, just a steal of a deal when it comes to how much money you will save if you go with this product. So this is launch cart. Let's go um, check out. Here's the um, Greg Ryder, the founder and creator. You can go check out all of the um, different stuff and look at his backstory down here. And it looks like they have everything you need right over here. Uh, we do have some questions over here, but we do not have any reviews yet. So let's go jump in. So I've already gone and set up. This is what my site looks like right now. Uh, it's just called LearnWire and this, uh, you know, we need to set up payments and so forth, but this is kind of what you'll look like. You can go and change the theme. So right off the bat, I, uh, I'm not going to be able to show you everything in this review because you can see right over here that this is just very, this is where your orders will be and so forth. And you'll have your analytics from traffic and so forth, right? You'll probably want to set up your Google analytics and so forth, but you're going to have all this different stuff, all these different tracking. This is very, very similar to Shopify. I built an entire website on Shopify, um, an e-commerce website, and this is very, very similar to that. So if you're looking for um, a Shopify alternative, this is going to be it. Um, but I'm going to go down here to appearance right here, because if we go into settings, look at all the different settings right over here, currency and tracking and export wizard, shipping and general settings, domains, set up your staff, set up your emails, store plan, a lot of stuff, abandoned cart um, um, and so forth. So they have a lot of uh, development with the software. But right off the bat, I just want to show, let's go to the appearance and then we'll go to the theme editor right over here. And this is where they have some themes in here. I don't know if they allow you to import a theme or if they'll let you browse other available themes and customize them in the background. These themes can be customized in the background and won't affect your store. I don't know if you can hire a developer and kind of change the theme however you want, if they have the ability to go in um, and look at these. I'm going to go ahead and copy the preview URL on this one and just go and kind of look at one of these real quick. So you can go in here and look at some of these, what they'll look like um, and so forth. What we're going to do is come back over here and I'm just going to stick with Launchpad. It's got a big banner and so forth. So um, I'm going to show you how we go and make adjustments and get this all set up. If you have multiple stores, you'll come up here and I um, set up two stores on uh, kind of on accident. Um, but here's my learn wire store. So if you have multiple stores, you'll just go up here and switch between stores. Um, you come over here to your current active theme and then you push the customize button right over here. And if you have any experience with Shopify or WordPress, then this is going to be pretty easy. But like I said, I haven't watched any tutorial videos and this is super easy to use. Um, especially if you know how to get, uh, you know, your way around WordPress, then you're going to be able to figure these tools out pretty easily. So I already had, went ahead and created like my header logo. I'm going to go and upload this real quick. It's right here. Um, I just followed the dimensions that it wanted. So we're right there. I'm going to say uh, crop and upload. And then I'm going to go with the uh, favicon. I don't know if it's going to take my logo. My logo's, um, I think 500 by 500. So it might, okay, perfect. It worked fine. Uh, so we have our header. How do you want your header to appear in your store? Sticky, your header will follow your visitors as they uh, scroll up and down the page. Um, we can just leave it on sticky, but you can leave it static if you want. Display a link to your contact us page. If so, um, that's on right now, display your store's phone number. You can have that um, on or off. We'll have that off uh, footer. You have all these options on the footer. You have your social icons, display social icons, boom. And you can go and put in your YouTube and all your different things. Let's just go and find my uh, YouTube right here. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, paste my YouTube on there and then just push save right now. So we have all this. Let's go and check out what our site looks like. I'll push refresh up here and there we go. Okay, so we are on the um, preview right here. So this is where that logo will end up kind of sitting. Uh, we'll have to keep going with uh, the development of the site because I want that banner to be bigger. So we'll have to see what that looks like uh, in a little while. Uh, while we're on the site, you can see up here there is a YouTube icon and then our link works right there. So your social icons will go right here. We'll come back over here. So we have kind of the site set up. You can go to the checkout editor over here. Um, 
You do have to have one of the plans in order to you obviously use the checkout feature. You can see what their prices are. Um, they're everyday prices without the um, LTD. So obviously you, you definitely want to get on the L LTD because you're basically paying one month and it would cost that same amount almost um, for one month of their service. It tells you all of what you have right there as well. So here's where you can go and add internal pages, your contact us page. We can go and view the page over here. This is what it will look like. You could actually put in your name and what kind of question it is. I've got a drop down for you and a captcha so that it won't be as much spam and then a send. So that's good. Let's see what the order lookup looks like. So you can actually uh, go in here and uh, a customer can type in their order and find their order to see if it's been shipped or whatever. It looks like it's uh, tracking or so forth. You can add new pages. We just go new blank page and then we would just say, I don't know what else to put. I'm just going to say test for now. Include themes, header, and footer. Yes. Okay. They have gotten back to me uh, because for some reason it started my, um, when I told you that I created two domains, it actually used my password as the, as the domain, which was super weird. They did get back to me within about 15 minutes. Hmm, I don't understand. You can change the store number, uh, store name under settings domain. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to say, think. Thank you. Uh, I do like to test out the customer support when I can. So they did get back to me. So that's great. I'll we'll go ahead and close that out. So here is that uh, launch cart um, drag and drop builder, right? So we could go over here and we could just say, hey, I want a heading over here. Double click in here. And I'm just going to say, uh, I'm going to use a different, uh, let's just say, want a free learn wire shirt. So that's going to be the headline. We can come over here. You can go and use a smart headings, get AI based suggestions for your headlines. See the magic, click on that and see if it uh, can create something better for us. Uh, show your Learn Wires pride with a free t-shirt. That's awesome. It does do a lot better. Be part of the Learn Wire team with a free shirt. Claim your free Learn Wire t-shirt now. So look how boring my idea was. Want a free Learn Wire t-shirt and look at all the better ones over here. So we'll go with that one. And then it just changes it right there. That's cool. Uh, let's go. You can go and change the uh, font up there. That's cool. We can change the color. I want to make this uh, centered right there. You can make it a link if you want. So you have all the different things, uh, options that you would expect. So I like that. Here's what it'll look like on mobile and so forth. So now we just come back over here and let's just say we want a divider and then we want to grab a, let's just say another um, heading. And then right here, I'm just going to say, choose from the options below and i'm just de uh, de designing this for fun we can get suggestions again i'm going to leave that the way it is um and then we're going to come over here and go with columns and drag that over here so so far it's very easy to use i like the the layout of this and we're going to go with this option here and then we're going to get go add content and this is going to be a um, so if you use an image over here, that's going to be different than I think a P image is going to be a product image. Okay. So I'm actually going to come save over here and we're going to go back and we'll come back to this in a minute. All right, guys. So I've been in a conversation with the CEO, Greg, um, and this is actually him. Um, he answers me right here. So here's Greg. Nice. This is Greg, CEO and founder. Uh, I just said, awesome. Looks like you have an amazing Shopify alternative. He does have a video for me to check out. Um, because they have some really, really awesome plans in the work. So I'm going to go and check that video out. Um, also offered uh, to get on a call with me if I'd like. Um, I asked about drop shipping, right? Um, can you, uh, when we set up these items that we're going to go and do right now, can you, when someone places an order on your website, um, is it integrated, um, you know, so it's like hands off, right? Kind of like uh, when uh, Printful, um, integrates with Etsy. Uh, someone orders your product on Etsy. Um, Printful does all the drop shipping, creates the product and sends it to the customer and it's hands off. You don't have to do anything, right? And it is like that. So they do uh, integrate with Printful and Printify, the two big name hitters when it comes to like Etsy drop shipping and so forth. Um, they handle everything, uh, but they're going to build their own. So I just want to mention that that launch cart in their future. I'm trying to get a date of when that uh, probably going to be next year, I would imagine in 2024, but just kind of giving you guys some of those golden nuggets, getting in a conversation with the CEO, getting a little bit more information for you guys out there. Um, this is a promising tool. 
and they're going to build their own because uh, uh, for they have some things that they don't like about Printful and Printfy, uh, Printify. So they're going to build their own that will obviously be integrated with a launch cart and so forth. So super, super cool. If you want to sell your own merch or build an e-com store, uh, I'm getting more excited about launch cart. Um, and I, and you can see what I said right over here. I said, this is a great option for Etsy sellers who want to build their own site and not rely on Etsy, uh, which I'm a huge fan of not putting all your eggs in one basket. Um, and then I just asked when the launch date, cause they're going to build their own. Okay. So, um, Great conversation with the CEO. Let's continue on with the review. Um, we're going to go over here to, oh, awesome. So he did get back. All right. So we're going to go and I'm going to say create new product and let's just say print on demand products. So this is where you're going to have a print on demand product, create a new product from scratch. You'll be required to fill your required um, product. Uh, so this is if you're managing everything yourself or print on demand design marketplace right over here. Um, so don't have your own designs. They have their own designs in here as well. Um, but right over here, let's just say we go with the print on demand because that's probably what most people will use. I do have a date, um, first quarter of 2024 on, on source and sell market. Not quite sure what that means, but first quarter of 2024. So uh, over the next eight to 12 weeks, they're going to uh, be launching their own drop shipping um, part. So instead of using Printful or Printify, you would actually use their uh, launch cart. So you'll, they'll have an option over here, use launch cart instead. So super, super cool. I'm actually not going to set this up because I don't want to go and do all that integration. So we're actually going to come over to create new and just going to create a product from scratch right over here. Right. Okay. And we're just going to say um, t-shirt and I'm just going to say 0001. And this is our basic t-shirt something like that, right? Obviously I'm just doing this very quick. I'm going to say active all categories. So you can actually create a category. So I'm just going to say shirts, submit T shirts, submit. Um, obviously they have all the things, tags and so forth. You're going to want to fill all that out, but we're just trying to kind of see what we, if we can fill the site out as much as possible, right? So let's just say we have a 1999 compare at price, 29.99. And obviously I would have to do the calculations and so forth. Let's just say that my cost, let's just say my cost is um, $12.99 to get this uh, printed. So then we would actually, we could, uh, we can calculate taxes and so forth, but it looks like I would make about a, a six to $7 return on each sale. Um, embed, embed on your YouTube embedded YouTube video. So you can actually put a YouTube video uh, going over the product. That's really, really cool. Um, we're going to add media. So I'm not sure if we would just add the logo or I think in this case, we probably would need to go over to Etsy and go to right here, create. I'm just going to say shirt. I'm just going to say t-shirt and I'm not really going to be doing a big uh, tutorial on this, but right now we're just for fun. We're going to just use a basic mock-up right here. Okay, perfect. So we got the, uh, learn wire logo on the t-shirt just for fun. Um, and let's just go and grab another one real quick. I found another mock-up over here without, um, someone on it. So we will just center that up and I'm going to do one more. All right. So we have our mock-ups created. They're not that great, but, uh, this one was actually used with a, uh, had a, a way to put this in there so you can see it kind of wrinkles and stuff. It looks more natural, but we're just going to go with this for now. I'm going to download these real quick. So I'm going to add these uh, products. Here's the first one. You can track quantity, all the kind of good stuff that you would expect. Uh, even digital downloads. This is very important guys. So my e-com uh, shop that I have sells a hundred percent digital downloads. You can actually, um, you have to be on an actual plan, but you can offer digital downloads. You could um, sell only digital download products, which is super, super cool that they've already thought about that. And it's a feature, which is super cool. I'm going to go ahead and push save. I'm going to say create new product. So here's where the t-shirt that we just created shows up. Here's how easy it is to create another product. I'm just going to say 0002 and uh, t-shirt, t-shirt two. I'm going to speed this up and we'll be right back. Looks like they have an AI description generator. So I'm going to say men's learn wire logo t-shirt uh, white AI description generator. You actually have to put that in the box there and push generate. 
see what it comes up with for us. So they have added some cool features. Here's this men's Learn Wire logo t-shirt. White is perfect addition to your wardrobe. It has a classic crew neck design. So obviously you'd put that information in here and then it's just going to make your, um, make your description look really good. Insert generated text. So that is a nice feature. I love that. Um, I'm going to go down here and just push save product was created. I'm going to do one more guys. So then we can build that page out so I can show you what it looks like. You just add the image over here real quick and I'm going to say save. So now we have three uh, items that we have added, right? Oh, this one I need to go edit. Uh, it's actually in draft mode. So you come up here, you just go and push active. It would be nice to have a save button up here as well, but we got to go all the way to the bottom and push save. Uh, you can create sales, coupons, categories, inventory. Um, here's where you would manage your reviews over here, publish reviews, so forth. There'll be a review uh, widget right over here where you can upgrade. You'll be able to have that on your, I mean, they really have thought of all the different things that uh, you need to manage a Shopify uh, type store. Now we'll come back over here to appearance and we'll go over to the theme, uh, the pages right over here. And we were looking at that test page. I want to go to edit real quick. And this is where we would go in and we would say that we have a product image. And I really wanted to show you, I took you through that whole process of creating our own products. I wanted to take you through that whole process of fine, um, cause we could add an image, a simple image, and that would be fine, but even better, a product image. We come in here and we choose the product that we want. Perfect, right? You could add text under it as well. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go with another product image right over here. And we need to go with t-shirt two. And then look how easy this is to create our own custom page right here. And then I'm going to go with page uh, number three right there. And of course we could put, um, you know, some product reviews. Um, so I would just go with uh, maybe another divider. Uh, if you click on blocks, they have all kinds of different ones that we could throw in here as well. That would look nice. So I could show you, they actually have another one product list with four right there. So we could actually throw this one in right over here and click on this. And then we probably would go and you can go to stock photos. They also have stock photos in here. It looks like they have millions of images that you can use inside there as well. I'm going to upload the image right over here. So let's just say we want that one right there. We could change the text and the buy button as well. So uh, really easy to build a custom page. I'm going to push save and we'll go and check out what this page looks like over here. It's a little messy, but just to kind of show you the kind of what you can do, these can be clickable links. You can put a button underneath them and so forth, but this is kind of what it'll look like as people start adding items to your cart to their carts. Then you'll see that the cart will be, will reflect that up on the top. Right here, what I was talking about, if you click on the image, you can go with it. When image is clicked, we can link this to a product page and then we can, and it's already going to know that that is the product, right? So I'm going to go and update this to link to product page, push save, and we'll go and look at that right now. So if someone clicks on this and they want to buy it, it's going to take them to the product page. They can zoom in, check out the, you can put multiple images as well, and they can order as many as they want and Okay. So it's just some of the little details, um, like this buy button right over here that we have. I don't think that that's going to be able to display. We even have it right here under the action, but we're not going to be able to use that and have it on the site. It's not showing up. We're not able to add anything to our cart because we don't have our payments set up. So I'm going to go and uh, try to get something set up just for fun. So we can go and test what it'll look like to see what it, uh, we when we can add products to the cart. All right, so here's what it looks like when you added a payment. You'll get this, congratulations, you're done. I didn't add Stripe, but I did add PayPal, and that's why there's this big green button says enabled. And something really cool right here is that they do have other payment processors in here. Rever or Revere payments, they have NMI payments as well. They have open node as well. So they do have some other options. I'm sure more will be coming in the future, but it's nice that they do have some other options in there. All right. So I'm going to go and see if that did the trick or not. Yes, it, uh, that actual, that did the, the trick. We didn't have a payment set up. So none of the buttons are going to go live on your site unless you have payments set up even for testing purposes. So if I wanted to add two of these to my, um, to order, I've just pushed add to order. And now we have $39 and 98 cents up here 
proceed to checkout so people can start going and checking out. They would go to your their PayPal and they would fill out their information and then they would push uh, purchase now. So super, super cool, very intuitive, very easy to use. So we'll go back over to the header of the site. I didn't figure out how to get a big banner over here. Um, I might go and change the theme out, but here are some products that we can look at. Here's what it looks like down here. Um, it's normal price is $29.99. Um, and you can get it for $19.99 right there. And here's the product images. So you can uh, obviously, um, it's a nice clean user experience and so forth. They can sort by different prices, low to high, high to low, um, and by product category up here as well. They can even go up here. So it's very easy to find products because they have search bars everywhere. They have search by category and filters and so forth. Good, good stuff. Here's what another one looks like. Uh, we have the banner or the, you know, I'm calling it the logo at this point. Um, I'd have to fool around with it some more to see if we can get, you know, where we can get like a hero uh, banner, enable home page. Okay. Yes. Right over here. Show slider. Okay. So here it is featured products and so forth. So we would add slider images, upload. Okay. So I added a home page slider. I'm going to push save and we'll go and see what that looks like as well. Just trying to kind of, yeah, we would need to fool around with the image. Um, obviously the pixels and I don't have the size right, but here is what it would look like. That's a much better image right there. So you can add these sliders over here as well. So there are a ton more features in here that I did not go over. Obviously, um, you're going to probably spend a lot of time or at least a daily. You're going to check your analytics over here and see how much money you make, where your traffic's coming from and so forth. Um, but overall intuitive. I think that if you spend an hour or two, you'll be able to build out your store, get it up and running and so forth. Uh, you can connect with uh, Printify. And if you go to uh, create new products and you use this print on demand right here, then you'll be able to choose from uh, Printful or Printify. Once you do connect that integration, then you'll have options to sell any kind of mug or, um, you know, tumbler, um, long, long sleeve shirts, uh, t-shirts, uh, hats, um, pillows, blankets, everything you can think of for your merch. So this would be the way that I would probably get started um, to begin with. But then I would um, hold, I would start looking for uh, next year, Q1, they will be coming out with their own that you will be interested in looking at as well. So overall, this was a really, I did not uh, intend on spending this much time on launch cart, but I, uh, I ended up doing a really deep dive learning it myself. This is definitely something I would consider as a very strong alternative to Shopify. They look like that they really have offered everything you need in order to get this up and running, uh, get your own e-commerce store up and running connected with third party applications to ship out the product. So you don't have to really deal with the customer as well. Um, all kinds of good stuff. So, and I think they have a good price point. So, um, from everything that I've seen, this would definitely be a four to five star uh, tool. I recommend checking it out. Link will be below. Thanks again. See you in the next time.